Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Faith with 1,438 rating versus You Broke My Heart with 1,107 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and with that being said, let's hop right in. We're going to see You Broke My Heart win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and decide to go first, 60 versus 43. Opening hands, you have Cross Out, Poly, Valor, Patchwork, and Fawn of Albaz. So we do have... Valor is like a, a hard going second card. Uh, cross out, maybe it would have hit something. And then, you know, Fawn of Abaz, obviously going second, it can discard to try to fusion it. And they have Driver, Rota, Itali, Mali, and Imperm. So they're going to go ahead and activate Rota. And then Rota, go search Torn Scales. Well, that's pretty good, especially because they're only going up against Valor. Yeah, now they're going to activate Itali. And then Itali, go bring out. Frankenderp, Frankenderp effect. I love this card, by the way. Just pay 500, and then draw a card. Oh, they don't even choose to keep it. Okay, fair enough. Usually you would choose to keep it, and then you skip your next draw phase. But since they can't use Knight anyways this turn, they may as well just take the regular draw next turn. And then turn those into Cherubini. Um, don't you have to... Okay, no, you have to reveal it if you're adding it to hand, but if you put it back, you don't reveal it. Fair enough. Um, so go for Cherubini. And then they're going to dump Graph. Graph effect goes summon, bring out Seer. So we know that this person's on, like, the Poly and Brave Token stuff, because you can't really play Cross out in the main deck without playing the Brave Token stuff. Otherwise, it's, like, too bad going second too often. Set Shade, and then Ancient Cloak, Banish, go search Boots. And then they're just going to special summon boots, activate shade, turn those into a sold, and then a sold effect to go search, so go grab ragged gloves, and then a sold effect to dump, and we're just going to see them emit the feet. So going on into game two now, we're going to see the Despia deck go first, opening hands, we have Foolish, Bell, Polly, Ash, and Edgem Chain, they have Mystic Mine, Eteli, Boots, Torn Scales, Droplet, ooh, yeah, that's kind of tough. So activate Foolish Burial, dump Tragedy, Tragedy Effect to go search, grab Aluber, then summon Aluber, Aluber Effect, go grab Branded Fusion, activate Branded Fusion. You know, I'm kind of thinking that this person's not playing the Brave Token stuff, because you would dump Tragedy there either way, but I feel like with how many hand traps we've seen and the cross out in the main deck and the patchwork stuff, I feel like they're not playing the Brave Token stuff. And then they're going to activate, dump those, bring out Albion, and then Albion effect, banish, banish, bring out Lubelion, and then Lubelion effect, discard the Edge Imp Chain to put back the Fallen of Albaz, and Lubelion to bring out Mirror Jade, and then Edge Imp Chain effect, go search Patchwork, and then activate Patchwork, a uh, little, little mistake there, yeah, it's like, that goes grabs, Edge Imp Chain, and Poly. And then activate the Poly, get rid of Edgem, Chain, and Albion, go for Dragos to Palea, and then end phase, Albion effect, go set Branded in red, and pass turn. They draw Imperm, so Mystic Mine's good. Activate Mystic Mine. They're thinking here, uh, I mean, I guess they out this, right? And then, oh, but they don't because they have Droplet. So you would droplet here. Oh, you for sure droplet send monster here to negate Mirror Jade. And then they can't chain snow. Because that's just how it works. But then they... So you have to send e Telly and a monster. So that way they can't chain Branded and Red and then chain snow. Um, But they say no response at all. And it's like guarantees that they're not going to be able to do anything. Yeah, because they banish everything, summon, Mirror Jade resolves, banish snow. Have fun skipping your turn, moron. Hey, yo! <laughs> Skip turn, end phase, instant. Yeah, kind of toxic for being, you know, for having a bad list. I don't know what you want me to say. End phase, mine goes, and then Albion effect's going to activate. So Albion, go search Branded Fusion, and then draws Cross out, and then go into main phase, activate Branded Fusion, Branded Fusion, and then that's going to dump the Fawn of Albaz, and then dump the Adlib, go through Lubelion, Lubelion effect, 
this card cross out and then they're gonna let this go through it's because like they try to imperm right they can chain branded in red they'd have to drop it yeah, also this person just had no idea about the snow interaction on how that can beat mystic mine so now they're going to put back the Fallen of Albaz and Mirror Jade, summon Mirror Jade, and now activate Polly. So Polly's going to get rid of all those. Oh, it feels so bad, but at the same time, it's like fair enough here, but now they're going to get Guardian Chimera effect, chain e Telly, chain Droplet, and they're going to get rid of two, so negate those. e Telly's going to summon Gamma, and then Battle Phase, beat over Gamma, attack directly. And then activate Branded in red, add back ad lib, or try to, I should say, target ad lib. And then they're going to chain imperm, but it's already negated. So you'd be able to like imperm mirror jade and then droplet it, but you can't droplet then imperm because droplet doesn't just negate. It's like, you know, negates or cut, cuts to half an attack. It's like the main part of droplet. Um, they're already negated. Red, you like an open book. Go for Masquerade, Ad Lib Effect, Summon Dragos to Palea, and then they're going to attack, attack, well, attack with that, I should say, they can't attack with that, um, man, you're obnoxious, I would say, well, I don't even know what that word is, so, now they're gonna try, said, no, misclick, obnoxious, what? Okay, so they're just going to go end phase mirror jade effect. It doesn't banish anything because it's negated. Last time I came up, I had a whole bunch of people comment, why is nothing banished? But, you know, if it's negated, it's negated. Set branded in red, they scoop. So now moving on into game three, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see Phantom Knight go first. They definitely have the advantage here. Opening hands, you have Cosmic, Edgem Chain, DD Crow, Alubur, and Called By. They have Ash, e Telly, Ancient Cloak, Fog Blade, and Bell. So they're going to activate the e Telly. Um, e Telly goes summon out Frankender, but they, they have like a lot of good stuff against this. Fogblade won't even be that tough though. Oh, they're gonna draw Ash and then decide to keep it. Mm, you even thought about it? Well, I mean, it's because they have another Ash. But, you know, that, that would be an easy read. Uh, Cherubini, Dump Graph, Graph Effects, Summon Seer, so they decided to not DD Crow this. And then turn those into Rusty, Seer Effect, Summon Back Out Cherubini, and then Rusty Effect, Dump Torn Scales, Set Shade, Ancient Cloak Effect, Banish, Ghost Search Boots, Special Summon Boots, Activate Shade, and now we're going to turn those into a Sold, a Sold Effect to Search. So, a Sold, Grab Ancient Cloak, and then a Sold Effect to Dump. So they're going to dump Living Fossil to summon Renaud. Renaud effect to add back the Living Fossil. Now Banish Boots to search Fog Blade. Torn Scales effect, special summon out. And then get rid of those to go for Dagda. Torn Scale effect, uh, chain Dagda. And then it's going to set Sight, dump Ragged Gloves. Living Fossil, special summon back out Seer. They said it's destroyed, but Living Fossil negates. And then they're going to overlay those. Go for Sea Dragon. Sea Dragon effects, special summon back out boots. You can't bring this out since it sold. Went ahead and did its thing. Searching that, but that's fine. You, know, you wouldn't even want a second one of that engraver it anyways. Turn all those into Appalooza. Ragged Gloves, Dump Wings, Wings Summon Torn Scales. And now get rid of those to make Anaconda. So... Decides to not go for Break Sword there to get that into the loop. And then Anaconda effect, pay 2k, dump. I guess they're gonna pop Anaconda and Rusty to try to play around Super Poly. Uh, draw Foolish. And then Standby Phase, Enforcer effect. And then thinking here in response chain cosmic to hit scythe they're gonna pop a fog blade that's not very good there you already have so much follow-up 
Oh, they didn't even think. Oh, they don't even know. You can enforce your pop itself in Cosmic. You don't. Like, Cosmic is still there. Until everything resolves. So, like, Fogblade should still just be set here. So, they actually just played themselves. And then Enforcer Effect. Activate Foolish. And then. App. Don't put counters. Apple has zero counters. Take them out. See, now that's just a bozo thing to do, right? So. You know, if you know me, you've watched the channel for a while. Um, I'm big on not putting counters on Appaloosa because it doesn't actually gain counters. And, you know, you, just judges yell at you all the time for all, all types of things. And it, it's easier just to, like, not put counters on it. Remembering the attack is, like, super simple. But, you know, if my opponents put counters on Appaloosa, I'm not going to be like, oh, take the counters off. Just when I summon Appaloosa, I'm not going to put the counters on it. But. Call Judge. A little okay. I mean, we'll wait. Sure thing. Does the effect of Appaloosa let her gain some counters? I think they're just salty because they hold the L. Yeah, this person's just bad. I'm not even going to lie. Um, they're playing like 43 cards with the Patchwork Engine. Like, they're playing the Hand Traps, which is cool. But, like, you're playing the... Patrick engine with the hand traps when it probably should be the brave token engine with the hand traps right um and then like your deck is like it's like not that crazy i don't know De despia is like a weird deck to build it's not like a normal deck to build right we're going back to like old fusion techniques so you'd have to like cut the hand traps if you want to play patrick stuff or at least cut most of them don't care, so you don't care you're stolen. I see. Nope. Continue if you want. Yes, because you know she doesn't have counters. Not bound to your request. It's not a request. It's just properly to play like this. If you run obnoxious all the way, though, I would. But you are, so I will not. Yeah, that's fair. Continue if you want. And then they just leave. Yeah. Um. So they knew for a fact that they lost there. Because they lose to just Appaloosa. Because they foolish dump something. Appaloosa negate it. Summon Alibur effect. Appaloosa negate it. And now they have absolutely nothing. Um, they probably wouldn't even Appaloosa negate Alibur. They probably fog blade it. So that way this stays. And they probably they shouldn't even get rid of the other fog blade either. Because then that helps play around like the poly type thing. But you know they obviously messed that one up. Uh, and next turn they have so many extra bodies. They have Ancient Cloak. Boots. Denier. Mally. Enforcer coming out. Fog blade the summon. Uh, all the way to the point to where there's just absolutely no way that on the follow-up they don't end the game through nothing. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and see uh, Faith holding multiple L's there and seeing how long the match was. We can see that uh, it was only about 31 minutes before like the whole argument happened. Oh, the argument only stayed there for a couple minutes anyway, so it's kind of weird. They didn't, even stand, they didn't even stand their ground for five minutes. They stood their ground for, like, four. Um, but, okay. And with all of that being said, the DB ground... Oh, also, I wanted to bring this up. Because I said that I was going to try to get a wager match for today. Like, my own wager match. And I tried. But nobody wanted to money match me. I tried for a couple hours. I was like, alright, I'll start looking at, like, 4 p.m., and I'll stop looking at like 8 p.m. If I can't find a match, then I'll just start recording videos. Like, like I said, like I said, I want to try recording the wager matches when I'm like wide awake. And also today at 4 through 8, I wasn't even wide awake because, like I said, I, I got like the shot thing, the vaccine thing. And pff, it, it I, I slept like 16 hours yesterday or something like that. I felt like I slept 16 hours again today, bro. Like, it is wild how much like time is being wasted from all the sleep. But with all that being said, uh, that, that's why there's no one of my wagers going up today. I'll try to get one up tomorrow though. Uh, you know, I just have to you know I have to have someone that's down to money match me. Otherwise, you know, obviously I can't do it. Uh, and I might look into getting into one of like the Dragon Riders games tournaments or something. I'm not completely sure um, if I'm gonna do those or not. But I do want to get into some type of tournament or money match just so I can have more content to post of me playing. And with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.